I'm Shilpa Shadi Kundra and this is The Art of Balance. Get into a quadruped position. Your knees may be together or slightly separated. This is the starting position. Inhale and raise your head and arch your spine so that the mid and lower back sink towards the floor. Expand your abdomen fully and fill the lungs with the maximum amount of air. Exhale while tucking the chin in, push the mid and lower back upward and tug the tailbone inwards at the end of the exhalation. Contract the abs. Breathe normally. Come back to starting position and relax. Stand at the feet with two foot apart. While breathing in, raise the arms from the front over the head. While breathing out, bend forward. Twist the trunk to the right. Bring the left hand to the right foot. The right arm should be outstretched vertically, so that both arms form a straight line. Repeat on the other side. Look up at the left hand. Do not lean or bend forward from the torso. While breathing in, raise the body, come back to the starting position, and relax. and erect with your feet together. Inhale. Raise your arms straight in front to shoulder level. Push your hips back and win your knees like sitting in a chair and bring your thighs as parallel to the floor as possible. Hold this position for 15 seconds. Engage the abs and keep tailbone gently tucked in.
Stand erect at the top edge of the mat with your feet together. Bring your palms together in front of your chest in Pranayama Asana. Inhale. Raise your arms to the ceiling and arch your back as per your flexibility and come into Asta Utnasana. Exhale. Bend forward from your waist, keeping your back flat. Bring your palms down on the floor. Next your feet in Padahastasana. Inhale. Take your right foot backward, lower the hip and pull your shoulders back. Open your chest and look up. Exhale. Take your left foot backward. Make sure your shoulders are above the rest and your entire body in slant position. Hold your breath and come into Ashtang Namaskarasana. Gently bring both your knees, your chest and chin down on the floor while keeping your hip above the floor. Place your palms next to the chest and hence closer to the door. So. Inhale, scoop forward and bring your chest upwards and forward and come into Bhujangasana. Now exhale. Come into Parvatasana, use the core to lift your hips up, tuck your chin in towards the chest and try to touch your heels to the ground. Inhale, come into the Ashwa Sankalan Asana, bring your right leg forward. In between the hands, lower the hips and look up. Exhale, bring your left foot forward and try to touch your palms on the floor in Padahastasana, inhale. Lift your arms up length in the spine. Arch your back and come into Hastaratnasana. Exhale, bring your palms together in front of your chest in Pranayama Asana. Repeat the same steps with your other leg and that will complete one cycle. Stand straight. Step your feet into a wider than shoulder with position toes pointed forward. From here, pivot the right foot out by 90 degrees and turn the hip to the right while the back foot turns in by 45 degrees. Align the heels. Inhale as you raise the arms overhead in Namaste. Exhale bend in the front knee so that your right shin is vertical and you are in a lane. Inhale. Bring the arms down from the side of your hips. Now repeat on the left side. Duck the tailbone in and focus on elongating the torso up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Bring the arms down and exhale. Come back to starting position.
Yay, and there is good news. We are halfway there. Stay positive, determined and committed to your health goal and get the most out of this wonderful body. Sit on the floor. Bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet together. Hold your feet with both your hands. Shift your hips forward to bring your heels as close to your body as possible. Lift your knees up and deliberately push down, using your elbows as levels to press your inner thigh down. Try to touch your knees to the ground on the downward stroke. Practice 30 to 50 up and down movements. Do not use any force while pressing your knees down. Completely relax your inner thigh muscles. Visualize the movement as fluttering of a butterfly's wings. Lie on your back with your feet together and arms beside your body. Inhale. Lift your upper body and both your legs off the floor, reaching your arms towards your feet. Engage as you tighten the abs and raise your torso and legs off the floor with arms in front of your legs. Try to keep your eyes, fist and toes in one line. Continue to breathe through the nose and keep shoulders relaxed while maintaining the archana. Keep your toes pointed, legs active, and inner thighs engaged. Contract the abdominal muscles by pulling in the navel towards the spine. Do not hold the breath. Keep tailbone tucked in, abs tightened. Keep your chest and mid-back lifted shoulder blades away from ears. As you exhale, come back to the ground slowly and relax. Lie on your back with your palms flat on the floor. Inhale and raise your right leg at 30 degree. Hold this position for 10 seconds. Then at 60 degree, hold this position for 10 seconds. And at 90 degree, hold this position for 10 seconds. Come down at 60 degree. Hold this position for 10 seconds. Then at 30 degree. Hold this position for 10 seconds. Repeat with your left leg. Make sure you lower back does not lift off the floor too much. Keep it in neutral position.
in the navel, to your spine, to support your lower back. and slowly lower your leg to the floor. This is one round. Lower your legs only till you can maintain form. Keep your chin tucked into your chest. Not tense your shoulders. Sit in Vajrasana kneel on the knees, with the arms at the sides. The legs and feet are separated to make the back bend more comfortably. Inhale here. Exhale, lean backward and slightly to the right and slowly reach for the right heel with the right hand and then the left heel with the left hand. Do not strain. Hold this position for 10 seconds. If you are unable to do so, support your lower back with both palms, and then lean back. Return to the erect position by slowly crossing the left arm over the waist first. The weight of the body should be evenly supported by the legs and arms. If you experience discomfort in the neck or back, limit the range of the back bend. Keep the navel gently pulled in towards the spine. You should feel a stretch in the chest, abs, thighs, and hip flexors. Come out of the arsenal very gently. Come back to the starting position and relax.
To begin, lie down on your back. Bend your right knee, then your left knee, and keep your feet apart. Hold your ankles with your hands. Your heels should touch your hips. Now inhaling, slowly lift your lower back, middle back, and upper back as much as you can off the floor. Hold this position for 15 seconds. Try lifting your back as high as possible and expand your chest upwards. Release your right leg then left leg. Come back to the starting position and relax. Hope this helped you achieve your peace of mind. It's time for me to sign off. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Tab tak ke liye? स्वस्थ रहो मस्त रहो